Welcome everybody back to another exciting episode of Black Table Tech Review. This is the boy JC. How y'all doing today? For all of those that have the PlayStation 5, the question you guys always be asking, and I even ask myself, what's the best SSD for my PlayStation 5? Which one's gonna give me the best read write speed of all, and which one's gonna last longer? This is the video for you right here. I found this on Amazon. This one right here is a 2 gigabyte SSD from a company called Next Storage. Next Storage is a Sony company that makes SSDs, and this one was made to work on the PlayStation 5. They say you can use it on PCs or whatnot, which is good, but I believe their main purpose is when they, when they were making this SSD is to focus on the PlayStation 5. And everybody who owns a PlayStation 5, their needs are more storage, great read and write speed. So I think this one's gonna fit the bill. I really hope so. And if you like, I'll leave the link in the, in the description so you can pick it up. So this is the box right here. Next storage, a Sony company. All right, let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and see what, we, see what we're working with. I want to thank you guys for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the video to help it to grow. And don't forget to leave, leave your likes and share it and leave your comments, all right? All right, the next storage, two gigabyte storage. First of all, I like presentation. I just hit my camera. Come with a nice little booklet right here. This is in Korea. And um, I don't understand Korean, so I'll leave it alone. I'll look at this in a second. Uh, this is the, uh, the, the whatever you want to call it, what the SSD card came in. And you got some more booklets in here. So as you see right here, embedded SSD, blah, 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 G, is a G series. A lot of this is in uh, Korea and whatnot, I don't speak that language. So it is what it is. Nothing else in the box. And let's look at the beauty right here. Come with a nice little plastic all right i like you know i like nice stuff and for my viewers if i like nice stuff i know you guys like nice stuff too so let me just oh dang this thing's so so tight this thing is well sealed in oh wow i'm impressed already well i'm gonna have to try to rip it up some way i don't want to break the ssd though because this adhesive is pretty pretty robust oh man they're making me work for my money <laughs> anyhow here comes the nice little paper right here nice little foil plastic whatever you want to call it and this is it right here this is a ssd in all its glory see all the chips right here two gbs all right see all the chips right here on this bad boy like a plastic nest storage embedded ssd all right we can't wait to test it out there's some more in the back I like what I see so far. I like what I see so far. And you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna con I'm gonna put this bad boy in. I'm gonna connect. What am I saying? I'm getting tired. Oh, can't have so much work. I'm gonna use my favorite heat sink, the gr the gra gear. I still can't pronounce this doggone thing right. This heat sink is a fantastic heat sink, man. This thing is off the chain. It really works. So I'm gonna pair it with these two, connect it to my PlayStation 5, and um run some tests to it. I see what we're working with. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. So the slide this bad boy in here. Make sure that it's nice and neat together. Gotta make sure that it's aligned. First thing first. Yep. All the sides are together. Good. Slap this bad boy in. Yeah, baby. Now let me get the other part and just fit it in. Go right here real quick. Line up nice and neat. Snap it on. All right, now there's the fun part. Put it in the PlayStation 5. And to put my favorite face, um, not face plate, I keep on saying face plate. Uh, the plate for the, is it for the, you know what I'm talking about, man. Boom, and we're in, just that simple. Now to get the face plate on this bad boy here. Let's just do the test with the, with the amazing next storage 2 gigabyte SSD. Now comes the fun part, the formatting of the SSD. Now we're going to format it to see what kind of speed we're working with right here. All right, let's go. Okay, you got a read speed of 6,421. That's not pretty bad. And with the previous video, you could see when I used a 500 gigabyte Kingston KC3000, it was 6,200. 
that's not bad at all so 6421 I think that's pretty fast all right let's just go into here format it doing this thing all right what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna check my storage and right here in storage it says right there my console don't got much the next storage SSD is two terabyte free space two terabyte so they're giving you all the all the memory you, you paid for some companies when they format it you get less than than, than what is advertised but it actually says i'm getting my full two terabyte what so i'm going to do next i'm going to start up some games off the playstation 5 storage and the games i'm going to then move them over onto the next storage store ssd card i'm going to see which one of these storage boots up the game fastest so the first on deck is the playstation storage and i'm going to boot up these three games Ratchet and Clank, God of War, and Spider-Man. So let's start with Spider-Man first. The clock is at zero, as you can see. Let's see how quick it boots it up right about now. Around 10 seconds for Spider-Man. That's not bad at all. 10 seconds for Spider-Man. So let's go next to God of War. No, Ratchet and Clank. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Ratchet and Clank, 27 seconds. That's not bad at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Next, let's go to God of War. Three, two, one, go. Twenty-five seconds. That's pretty impressive. I like that. Twenty-five seconds. So, so for Spider-Man, let's go back out here. So for Spider-Man, it's approximately ten seconds. Ratchet Clank twenty-seven. God of War twenty-five. So now let me go ahead and move the same games over onto the SSD card, and let's see which one boosts up faster. Okay, the games are moved over onto my next storage SSD to show you real quick. All three games are over there. A total of one un total of 157 gigabytes now let's do this test with the ssd first up again is spider-man and um spider-man is going to begin in three two one go around nine around nine seconds that's not bad I'll say about nine seconds. I can't work with that. All right, let's go on to the next one. The next one is going to be uh, where was where, what was the order again? Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank. Let's start that in three. Oops, let me get out of here. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I stopped it a millisecond slow. Even though it says 26.21, it was actually 25. I stopped it just a little bit slow. So that's tw I'm going to mark that 25 seconds. That's not bad at all. I see a little improvement. Now let's move on to the next one real quick. And let's end this video. So far, this SSD doing a good job. Let's go with the God of War. I'm going to reset my clock. Three, two, one, go. Oh wow, 23 seconds. This thing is pretty fast. This thing is pretty fast. Okay. So let's get out of here real quick so we can end this video. So far, so good. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So according to my numbers on the on the PlayStation 5, uh, Spider-Man uploads at 10 seconds, Ratchet and Clank 27, God of War 25. And on the SSD, Spider-Man 9 seconds, that's 1 seconds 
faster. Ratchet Clank, Clank 25, 2 seconds faster. God of War, 23 seconds, 2 seconds faster than PlayStation 5 original storage. So I like it so far. And it, it moves games pretty fast. This is a great SSD. I love it so much. So anyhow, that's just my review for the next storage um, SSD. It's a great SSD. You get, you get a lot of storage. And the price is reasonable. I'll leave the link in the description so you can copy it. And uh, like I said, great. You get a, you got great read speed of over 6400. That's pretty decent. I'm gonna get some more to test them out. So if you guys want to see those reviews, just go ahead and subscribe, like, and I'll share this content. Don't forget to leave your comments. I'm looking forward to reading them and respond back to the community. All right, JC Black Table Tech re and Review. See you in the next one. Have a good day.